Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and all the news in details. Ebony Governor's marriage with APC hangs in the balance. Bearing last minute change of mind, Governor David Huma here of Ebony State may have concluded plans to dump the People's Democratic Party for the whole Progressive Congress APC. According to reports, Yuma he sealed his impending move to the APC during meeting in October 2020 in Abuja with the APC leaders, including President Muhammad Buhari. Yuma he was elected governor of the platform of the PDP and currently serving his second term. The members representing Ukro, Ukro Aza South Federal constituency on the APC platform, Honorable Chinedu Oga, was the first to break the news in a statement commending Yuma he for the bold move. My actions confirmed the rumor when he, on arrival from Abuja, had separate closed-door meeting with the members of the Mbonyi State House of Assembly Council Chairman and PDP State Executives, among others, during which he reportedly briefed them on his planned defections to APC. Apparently, acting out in his script, members of the Assembly the following week had a press conference and gave the national leadership of APC seven days to convoke neck meeting and zone the party's 2023 presidential positions to the southeast, warning of their consequences of if the party failed to comply. The Ebony State Working Committee, SWC, of PDP 24 hours later, Tuesday, October 20, 2020, to be precise, also had a press conference making the same demand from the PDP national leadership. It warned that no other arrangements will be accepted. Or why the demand was coming so early, the Abonyi State PDP Chairman Ba Oyekachi said the body language of the powers that be in the PDP had shown that they had no plan to give the presidential positions to the zone. The demand by the two, two institutions, analysts say, is a smoke scream to prepare ground for the impending exodus from PDP to APC in the state. National meeting at various levels in the camps of both APC and PDP have also been going on aimed at tightening loose the end in preparation for human rights defections. For instance, some APC stakeholders met recently in the Abaka Leki at the residence of the members representing Uko Eza Federal Constituency, Honorable Chinebuju Oga, to discuss among other issues Imahi impending defections to PDP to APC. Oga was quoted to have said during the meeting that Imahi defection to APC would bring good tidings for the party ahead of the 2023 governorship election in the state. Not done. The APC stakeholders last Sunday had another meeting at South Spring Hotels about Kaliki, where they officially confirmed to party members in attendance that human he move had been concluded. Senator Julius Huja, the members of the National Assembly Service Commission, the convener said it was held in conjunction with the APC Southeast mandate. He explained that the Southeast Mandate was a pressure group negotiating for the rightful place of the Southeast regions in APC. Hucha, a senator who represented the Bonyek Central Senatorial District for eight years, told the gathering of APC stakeholders that Governor, Governor of Ebony State is on his way to APC. He said when Mr. President of the Federal Republic visited Ebony State, I made a presentation to him that governors are very powerful. And it is difficult to underrate a governor in any state. And my recommendation is that Mr. President should urge Southeast governors to declare for APC that was around 2016 and 2017. But today I want I want to graciously announce in this APC gatherings that the governor of Ebony State is on his way to APC. And this is not a joke. And that is why I said there is need for us to continue to pray that nothing will stop it. Also speaking, Senator and Tony Agbo corroborated the statement of Ucha that Huma he was on his way to the APC and described it as a big catch to the party in the, in the state and at the national level. Ebony State has made a big catch, the APC in the Southeast has made a big catch, and the APC in Nigeria has made possibly the biggest catch. And that is why these leaders of Southeast Mandate is also invited to the present to be present. And what is that biggest catch? That is Excellency, the Executive Governor of Ebony State, eminently is crossing from PDP to APC, Agbo emphasized. Agbo, who was the Director General of the State APC Governorship Candidate in 2019, 
Sadio Huma, he was the best performing governor in the present dispensations. This is evidence in the achievement of his administrations in all ramification, whether it is road construction or whether it is in any manner of infrastructure or in any manner of leadership indexes. He is supposed to be the best Nigerian governor in his dispensation. And if we have such a governor, and Providence makes it clear that he has decided to cross over to our party, APC, it is something that is worthy to be celebrated. On his part, C. C. Uber, the chairman of South East Mandate, who hails from Imo State, said members of APC in Ebony State would soon begin to enjoy like their Imo State counterparts when Humahi would officially join the party. Also, in a communique read during the meeting by the former chairman of Owazara, Local government area, Mr. Chaka Uweze, the APC stakeholders resolved to give Governor Humahi a red carpet welcome to the party. They described his imminent defections to APC as a welcome development and noted that they were eager to receive him. They also urged APC members in the state not to panic over the development as their interests would be fully protected. On Tuesday, two very close aides to Humahi had a meeting with the 64 development counter coordinators in the state, where modality for the defections was discussed. Sources at the meeting disclosed that no dates were fixed for the defections. Although they were told that it was imminent, the coordinators were also told that there was no going back on the defection. The coordinators reportedly pledged their support and that of the support in their various domains to the governor in whatever step it takes. Also, the 13 local government chairmen who were, who were present at the meeting also retreated that support and readiness to defeat with the governor. It was gathered that the council chairman and coordinator agreed to go back to their various council and centers to begin consultations on the issues immediately. Wherever the governor had, the governor and our leaders goes, we will go with him. We are very loyal and committed to the project, one of those at the meeting said. However, the PDP National Working Committee same days on Tuesday moved to stop Yumahi from leaving the party. The NWC had a meeting with Yumahi in Abuja apparently to persuade, to persuade him from leaving the party. But sources revealed that PDP NWC couldn't persuade Yumahi to resign his decision, adding that the defections plan was still in course. Yumahi was reported to have told the PDP national leadership during the meeting that he was leaving for the APC, which he allegedly claimed would protect the interests of the South East in 2023 presidential election, and that his decision was irrevocable. Eze, Wan Chuku Eze, the APC state chairman in the state, when contacted, said that the party had been officially informed of Imahi's plan by the Boni led APC caretaker committee during a meeting attended by national leaders in Abuja. He said, I'm just coming out from a meeting held in Abuja where I was officially informed of Governor Himai's plans to dump the opposite party, the PDP for our ruling APC. So wait till the details will be made known to you in a Boeing state by tomorrow. Sources claim that Himai had since obtained his APC membership form in his ward, but the APC chairman in the governor's local government here was Ara Victor Inachi. In a chat with Sunday Independence said he knew nothing about the alleged registrations of Himahi in APC in his word. As for the defection plan of Governor Himahi, I have heard about it and I am yet to officially contact it for his registrations at the word as required in the party constitutions, he explained. Well, so viewers, what do you think about it? The reality is that what it is what is even the difference between the APC and PDP they are talking about? You can imagine somebody is leaving from PDP to APC. You know, he's living from worst to the, the most worst, poly, uh, the most worst uh, party so far in Nigeria. So, so guys, what do you think? Kindly drop your comments in the comment section below. For those who subscribe, you can want to say God bless you to you for subscribing. And if you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. God bless you once again. Have a lovely day. Happy Sunday to everyone of you. Bye.